In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite man-to-man -man defenses in Madden 22 and a secret tip that you might not know that out of Big Nickel over G that I think makes it one of the best formations in the game to run man-to-man -man defense with. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. Hopefully, uh, you enjoy the video. If you do, we do videos like this every single day, trying to help people become better players, trying to help myself get better at the game, just kind of labbing and sharing uh, different setups and different concepts each day here on the channel. And again, if you guys want my full big nickel over G defense, I would tell you right now that it is the best defense that I've put together this year by far. Um, the blitzing concepts, the man concepts, um, it has all of the tools in the tool belt to master playing defense. So if you want to learn everything, run defense, uh, pressure setups, a gap, nano blitzes with a block tight in, against a block tight end, um, everything is in the Patreon uh, along with all of my other offensive and defensive eBooks. And so the cool part is by joining the Patreon, you're not only going to be able to get our big nickel stuff, but you also get everything before that. So you can kind of see how the concepts built are, are built over time with access to all of that material. Okay guys, so I wanted to break down one of my favorite man-to-man -man defenses here, and I wanna show you kind of a unique way in which you can run this defense. So um, I personally really suggest, if you're gonna run big nickel, to run auto flip off. It's gonna help significantly with your pressure. And the way that the formation is supposed to be ran is it's actually supposed to be ran, essentially, especially the 425 and the way TCU runs this defense, it's supposed to be ran with a show blitz look and the safeties are supposed to kind of work together to defend things like spread formation. So I'm going to show you something that's kind of interesting about how this formation plays. And then I'm also going to give you a really good setup for some man coverage, uh, which is definitely the best way, in my opinion, uh, to be playing defense right now because man coverage is super, super effective. Okay. So as you can see here, I have auto flip off and in my audibles, I'm going to put the cover one hole and I'm going to put the cover two man. Now I don't really suggest running the cover two man. I'm just going to use it to illustrate something uh, with this defense. And what you want to do, the real trick of the trade here is you want to come out in a play where there's no man coverage. So you want to come out in a zone play and audible to man to man. So as you can see here, and we actually break this down in the ebook way more in depth. So um, again, if you want the best stuff, just get the, get the membership. But anyways, you're going to see right here. So whenever I audible to man to man, you're going to notice that this safety on the, on the left side of the screen kind of moves over here to the tight end. Now, what's really cool is when I show blitz, it's going to give me kind of a unique alignment and then I can kind of manually press the outside guys. If I want to press them, if I don't want to press them, I'll actually leave them in a kind of an interesting coverage. And then I'm going to come back to this safety as a problem. So the reason that this safety is problematic is because we're not base aligned. And unfortunately he is in man to man on this tight end and it's really not helpful. And the reason why it's not helpful is because what I want you to notice happens here is if I motion Johnson across, you're gonna see that safety is going to do what he should have done all along. You see how he follows this guy across the formation and he will jam this guy across the formation, which is really nice. The problem, however, is in, is in the fact that there's not really a blitzing threat from this defense. We want to be able to always have, like I said, that symmetry or that symmetrical uh, symmetrical look. So the way that we're going to accomplish this is by using base align. So what we want to do is we want to auto align to base and turn our auto flip off. And then what you're going to notice is something really cool out of this formation that really isn't true out of a lot of formations in this game. It's actually something that's very unique to the big nickel, uh, big nickel over G. So what you're gonna see right now is if I audible to cover one hole, you're gonna notice that that safety on the right side is actually going to stay where he's at. Now, even more importantly, we're still gonna get a nice jam here on the slot. And if I press, you're going to see, um, you're going to see here that these players are going to come, you know, where, where, where we want them to be. Um, so let me show Blitz one more time here. I don't know why this guy's being weird. I might have messed my play up, but whatever. Uh, so anyways, we'll just throw this away. But you see the alignment that we get from this is really unique. And why it's even more unique, I'm going to show you right here, is because let's say, for example, that they do use motion. So I'm in cover one hole. Again, please notice that this guy is going to be in coverage on the slot. He's in a pretty decent alignment to cover him. 
and then you can manually press. So you're still going to get this press on all the receivers on the field, including the slot. And I'll show verticals real quick. And then we'll talk about something else that you can do that's really unique. So you see here, he kind of hangs with him and you're able to play good coverage. Now, another thing that I wanted to point out about this defense that is really interesting is if let's say that I'm flipped. Um, Big Nickel over G is one of the most incredible formations in the game for having good alignment literally against almost everything in this game. And what I mean by that is, let's say that I'm to the wide side of the field and I do this trick, you're gonna notice that my line or my slot corner on this side is going to be perfectly aligned. One other trick that you can do is you can move this guy in just a step or two, and then when they flip their play, you're gonna notice that he is also in a really good alignment. So you can kind of move these guys around a little bit and they'll stay in um, coverage on, on who they're supposed to be. Now, another thing that's really interesting is, let's say that they motion this guy across. What you're gonna notice is the coverage is going to switch. Now, all you need to do to kind of re-properly align your coverage is you wanna base align twice and then show blitz. And you'll notice, look at this, isn't this interesting? This guy goes exactly where he needs to be on this. You don't have to actually manually move him. He'll actually just go right where he's supposed to be. Now, this is really good for people who like to audible around a lot um, to different formations. For example, let's say they audible to the tray or the trips, um, the trips tied in. And I'll, I'm actually gonna come out in a different play real quick. But I wanna show you what happens if they audible to trips tied in and why this and why this coverage is so good or why this alignment is so, so advantageous. Ac accidentally came out in the wrong play. So again, I really suggest coming out in a zone play and audibling to man. That way you're not gonna get any glitchiness. Um, the other thing that I think is really interesting is when I audible to man coverage, there's no tell. It's the only formation in the game that does not have a tell when you audible to man to man. I think that is absolutely incredible. Um, I think it's one of the best things about this defense. Now, if you want to leave auto flip on, um, you certainly can. It just makes your pressure a little bit different just in terms of how we're going to build pressure from this. Now, I want to go to the trips formation and show you a trips alignment. And I want to show you why this is so interesting. So again, the same trick I use in motion, I'm gonna base align twice and then show blitz. And what you'll notice is look at this right here. You see that we get perfect alignment on trips and this guy actually will move across the formation um, in this example. Now this is one of your safeties on, on the field, okay? Now, obviously one thing that is interesting is the different alignment here. Let me just kind of show you something interesting. You'll see that there's not a switch off. They're gonna actually give you a, they're kind of gonna be a little glitched out on that man coverage, but there's easy solutions to that. It's not a big deal. Um, but if someone audibles from like gun bunch to bunch tight end, again, we're gonna audible to our cover one. And because they audibled to this, we're going to base align twice and then show blitz. Notice you get the same basic thing that you get with the trips, uh, the trips look. Okay, and then let me show you one other thing here with this. You'll see if you want to fix that alignment, then you just want to unbase align and show blitz again. Now, this is what's really interesting. You're going to get a really, really strong press on all these guys on the left side of the screen, including if you wanted to manually press the tight end, you can. And you see how this formation can really help with the alignment issues that a lot of us are facing. And so, as you can see, uh, one of the best plays in the game is basically bagged just by that one simple coverage. It adapts really, really well. Again, if they audible, uh, the one thing I also want to show you is what happens when we audible to tight slots. I think this is one of the best tips um, that you're going to find in terms of for defending compression sets. So let's say they go to the tight slots. All you're going to do is you're going to, again, base align twice, show blitz. So you see it disguises everything. Now this is what's really interesting. We're gonna get a clean, what I call a clean press, which I think is really, really important. And then what you can do with this from a coverage perspective is you can purple zone the middle linebacker on the, you can you could in theory purple zone both, both linebackers if you wanted to. Um, I actually think that's not a bad idea. So we're gonna go two purples, a three rec, and then someone in man-to-man -man on the running back. So you see, this is what we're gonna run. 
this coverage is super super effective and again i just want to show you what's going to happen here so let's say you know that they run something like you know kind of whatever this is you know just something simple like this um this right here is a really good coverage because you see we get this clean press animations that are actually going to carry the receiver one of the biggest problems with nickel 335 wide is because the other safety can't get down on the line of scrimmage it causes a lot of problems in terms of different alignments and things like that where you can actually glitch the man coverage what's really interesting about big nickel is it's not a formation that really has any struggle with that and the other thing that i want to point out is that you are running this again i'm running this defense on a base alignment um, i think that is so interesting and then if we wanted to send like our three-man pressure off of this we certainly could so you could do something like this and then on the back side if you wanted to you know whatever you want to do on the back side if you wanted to put him in an outside quarter notice it looks like zone coverage i think that's one of the big takeaways with this is that we get really clean press animations and it looks like zone coverage it's the ultimate disguise as you can see here there's nothing open literally nothing is open on the field and so that's why this is one of my favorite defenses in the game um, or favorite favorite formations there's so much you can do with this and again this is just the tip of the iceberg we unpack everything in the ebook for you if you want to get on the patreon you'll be able to see i think i've at this point got three or four hours of content just devoted to teaching this one defense and of course we have all sorts of other stuff over there as well Thank you for watching the video. If you're looking for a really good man-to-man -man scheme, this actually is much better at man coverage than you might think. And it gives you really a lot of advantages. Um, let me give you one last tip here while I'm thinking about it. Let's say they are in a spread set. So one of the big problems with nickel 335 wide is you're not gonna get a great press against spread. Well, note it, watch this right here. This is what's super powerful about this. Look at this. We're gonna press every single receiver and we have man coverage on the running back. So now guess what we can do? We're gonna send pressure. We're gonna send some double loop pressure. And then as you can see, we're gonna press everybody on the field and we're gonna get instant sacks. There's nobody open because nobody can get off the jam. One of the best things about this defense is its ability to press. And that's why, um, that's why I love this so much. And again, this is really good. It's really good against any formation in this game. It doesn't matter if it's five wide. It doesn't matter if it's trips it doesn't it does not matter you're going to get really good alignment really good press animations that's going to significantly help your man-to-man -man defense so thanks for watching this video if you want to get the full ebook again the link is in the description and we'll see you guys next time